Hello everybody, how's it going? My name is Speedway and today I come to talk a little bit about Legend of Mushroom, a new idol game that just came out and it's really fun. So join me as we go through it and I show you a little bit of what the game is about. So as you can see right here, I am fighting some mobs in stage AVs 192, so I'm kind of already quite far ahead in the game, but I'm kind of stuck right here, right? So I'm going to be trying to challenge the boss and we'll see if we can defeat it. And uh, I'm probably going to be a little bit short on the DPS department. Uh, I kind of need more damage, right? So how can we get more more damage well the way you do that is by spinning the lamp now i don't have any lamps right now i cannot pull any more gear but the way you do so is by just clicking on the lamp and then you will randomly get a piece of loot and then you can choose whether or not you want to keep that piece of loot or sell it now selling the loot is how you get xp and coins or you can just keep the piece of gear equip it and then you get stronger right now that's going to be the main way you're going to be just leveling up as i mentioned and then you will also have your active skills and your passive skills so are we going to kill the croc we actually to kill the croc that's pretty pretty surprising i guess i got a bit of a good rng right there with some critical strikes right so here we go we just got some lamps and i'm gonna be activating the auto lamp roller so you can just consume those lamp numbers as you can see they're going down and i'm not getting any good gear i got some filters on just to select the gear that i would actually consider an upgrade and if it's not the case well then you go i just sell it and i get xp and coins and summation, right so you can see here if i wanted to keep this gear i would equip it but otherwise i'm just gonna be selling everything because that's just xp and coins right so there we go. I have my uh, my passive skills right here, which are just going to be giving me some stats depending on the evolution that I chose. We'll talk about that in a second. And then we have the active skill for the class that I selected. Then you also have a bunch of other active skills that I'm going to be unlocking by rolling. So you can roll and basically pull um, uh, skills from a gacha and then you can level them up and equipment and equip them and such. And you will eventually get a big bunch of different skills. You, of course, want to be getting better and better skills. You can also enhancement, uh, enhancement, uh, enhance them when you have more than one copy of them and so on and so forth. Then you also have pets, which are called pals in this game, which will accompany you. Uh, they will move together with you and they will give you some buffs. They will also attack for you. So you can see them right here outside with you they are just murdering those enemies pretty cool and then let's talk a little bit about the evolution right so you can go all the way from being just this little shroom right here to just a shroomy and then you can go to from that to an adventurer level 15 then at level 30 you choose your classes you can be either a warrior an archer or a mage and then going forward from that at level 50 you choose another specialization at this point your passive skills will diverge and you will be able to choose for example here i could choose more active skill energy reach and basically get more active skills um, just coming uh, out of cooldown quicker or I could choose more critical strike damage with my skills right so there's choices to be made there are specs you could call them there's quite a complex build to things and then you can get more and more power getting all the way to the awakening after level 100 i don't know what, how you get to awakening also i just kind of started the game as well but yeah pretty cool you can get to be quite uh, you can get to choose quite an elaborate uh, build basically you, and then you can obviously reset this as well if you want to do so you can choose to do so as well then there will be a bunch of dungeons you can get a lot of good stuff from them you can of course get a bunch of resources from them but that basically just goes into a little bit more of a guide kind of video and i'm not really going to double too much into it but here we go we're still progressing here i think we killed another boss that's pretty cool then we'll have our clan in this case they're called family so here we go we are gathered together with all our shroomy friends and uh, we are in our little house there's a family hall right here. We can send help to everybody. There's going to be a dungeon and a raid. So you can also inspect people here. If you click on them, you will see what they have. And then there's going to be this dungeon, which I'm not able to play right now because I already did so. But then you also have your raid where you kill this little... Uh, the, well, little whale, I'll play a clip of it right now, but yeah, as you can see, you can play together with your family to take down this massive whale, and as high as you go with the level on that way, you will get more rewards. Then there's also going to be your little village, sort of, uh, that you will have a mine, you will be able to mine deeper and deeper in order to get resources, and then I'm going to be doing that exactly right now, I'll use a bomb right there to get some stuff, and then there's going to be a big bunch of resources right here, this is a massive amount of them actually. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and put this right here, I'll put another bomb right there, and then I'll probably use a drill right here, right? So I'm getting resources that I can then use in order to research, and I'll show you how to research in a second, because I'm, I'm busy getting my stuff right now, but yeah, you can get a lot of stuff from this, you get this, uh, the, the little, uh, the, the uh, what do you call, the, the pikes, whatever you call those, uh, in order to uh, build, you can just uh, get those over time, obviously. And then you will be able to use the resources we just got, which are ore, in order to research stuff in this skill tree, sort of. You're just going to be going down and down and down on that. 
and just get more and more just passive stuff accumulated on you. So here we're researching increased base damage. So that's a big upgrade right there. We also have our prayer statue where you're going to be uh, doing prayers to the mushroom god. And then you will be getting some passive stuff added onto you. Then you can also grow stuff on your little farm. And once you do so, you'll gain the resources, which are the fruit offerings that you actually offer to the god on the prayer statue. Right. So all the systems are sort of connected in some way. And then you will also be able to participate in pvp of course now i am ranked 36 right now on the ladder so that's pretty high up there but i don't think i can kill much people right now so you can go ahead and try and challenge somebody and if you find somebody that you can actually afford to beat then you can probably go ahead and do so and participate in the ladder right i can purchase one more ticket and we can just go ahead and challenge this guy let's see if we can defeat him i think it might be a little bit tough but we can i can just show you right here i think this guy was a little bit stronger than me and not so long ago even though his points or his combat power is lower might have to do something with the combo of pals he's using or his active skills i don't know because the, the complexity on this game is uh, quite deep actually uh but i think we just lost it uh, it's kind of weird but yeah anyways i kind of just lost even though his combat power is so much lower but there you go that's another system in this game i think it's pretty cool now one thing i want to talk to you about as well is the uh, pool system as i mentioned this is a little bit of a gacha you just go ahead and use some of those tickets or the uh, gems that you have in this case i don't have too many but i'm just going ahead and show you what it looks like obviously you make a pool and you can pull more or less depending on how much you tickets you're going to be using in this case we just got 15 then we go ahead and we use those things we just got in order to enhance our gear or rather our pals and our skills right you don't pull gear from there you pull gear from the lamp as i was doing right before now if you're going to be playing this game and you want to be spending some money like i did because it's actually really fun and there's many many very cheap things that i really consider very worth spending some money on too you might as well do so by playing through aptoid now aptoid is a marketplace where you can download apps just like google play and then once you do purchases within those games or within the games that you download it through aptoid then you will be able to get a cashback that goes all the way up to 30 percent so that's a lot of value way more than google play if you are thinking about that google play offers way less than this does and then i'm going to show you what that looks like right so if i was to be purchasing something like this for example i'll try and find it there we go i wanted to buy this it's a dungeon pack with some keys right so this is what it looks like you use an app or a wallet rather that's called the, the app coins wallet in app twitter and then basically just go ahead and try and make the spending and you get a, a cashback as it's showing down there of 13 cents based on this purchase now that can go higher and higher depending on how much money you spend that's an accumulative bonus if you use my code in the description you can get a baseline five percent increase on that um amount right on that purchase on that bonus so i'm gonna go ahead that and do that right away hold a second so you don't see my details i'll buy that and in a moment you'll see i just got 0 0.13 it's not showing because uh, it's protected by the recording software but there you go i just bought that and i got the bonus and i can then use that bonus to in order to make more purchases within this game or any other android game right you gotta be using an android phone or playing from an emulator on your pc in order to be able to use app to it right so it's a pretty good way of just if you're gonna be pay playing these games or any other game on an android mobile phone or an emulator well i got defeated then you just gotta get more value for your money it's that easy i already used it myself and i got Got some bonuses and purchase some stuff for free basically by using app toys. so really if you want to be doing that just go ahead and do that it's a lot a lot of good value i really really recommend it obviously you're gonna be helping me helping me out if you want to be uh, using that then i'm just gonna show you here real quick some of the dungeons that i'm just gonna be real quick doing because i'm really powerful at this point so they're gonna be i'm gonna be blazing through them but obviously you do some of these every day however many keys you are able to get you're going to be able to use them in order to get to the dungeons and then just get scaling through the levels of them and getting better and better rewards right so that's what i'm doing right here but yeah obviously if you're going to be playing this game really fun join me in uh, the server i think i'm i'm thinking in server what's the server that i mean i am in amen 61 i don't know if you can join my server but if you want to do so Go ahead and try and do so. It's going to be pretty fun. Join me and uh, use my code and stuff. If you want to figure out how to use Aptoid, got links down in the description. It's going to be showing there. Uh, it's going to be a tutorial on how to style any game on Android, on, on Aptoid, on an Android phone, on an emulator, on your PC. And uh, yeah, that way you can help me out and get better value for your money when spending on any of these games. Anyways, let me know what you think about the video and stuff down in the comments. It's got an upgrade. That's pretty cool. But yeah, anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. See you.